Hey everyone, welcome to Lisa's Spirit Readings. This is Lisa. I'm going to be doing a general reading for the sign of Cancer. This will be a general reading for the collective, so it might not resonate for you, uh, and that's fine. These readings are not dated. Um, I believe that uh, they find you when they should find you. When you need the message the most all of my info is in the description box there will be a link to an extended reading uh, at the end of this reading well I will where I will uh, take a, an even closer look into the energies so if you're interested uh, you can uh, check that out as well I will uh, I will uh, have a reminder at the end of this video. Hope everybody's having a great Friday. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Let's see what we have for Cancer today. Spirit, what messages do you have for the sign of Cancer, please? What does Cancer need to hear today? Three cards, please. Thank you. Two more cards, please. First one we had out, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, and Page of Cups. So you have the Queen of Pentacles in your uh, recent past energies. Queen of Pentacles, uh, she's very stable, she's very secure. Uh, Pentacles is earth energy. She can represent uh, someone in your life uh, who would be very calm in nature, very centered, very grounded in her energy. Um, a calming presence, if you will. Um, when I see the Queen of Pentacles, it reminds me of a, you know, a mother, grandmother type of energy. This could also represent you, Queen of Pentacles. Like I said, it's very stable. Pentacles um, can talk about money, finances, career. Uh, they can also represent your time and your effort. So it could be that in the recent past, you've been rewarded, um, and you've, or you've come to, you know, a, a stable, more stable place in your life where you feel more secure. It's a feeling of security. Your current energies we have the ten of cups uh, this for me is like a family card um, cups represent emotions so this is emotional fulfillment matters surrounding uh, family whether it's immediate family whether it's a spouse boyfriend girlfriend etc partner whatever uh, we'll get some clarifiers and then in your near future we have the Page of Cups, again, a, a card about emotions. Pages can represent uh, a younger person, uh, more, more naive, perhaps, in thinking. Uh, Page of Cups is, like I said, it's an emotional card. Sometimes uh, this can mean that you kind of got your head in the clouds. You can see kind of like a, he's daydreaming. Um, you know, he's, he's thinking of things that could be, sometimes this can be somebody who's come into your life, uh, offering, you know, a love relationship. We'll, we'll get some more cards and see what else we've got going on. So far, it doesn't look too bad here for you cancers. Let me pull some more and see what we've got. Spirit. Could you please clarify the Queen of Pentacles? Thank you. Oh, well, that's good. Okay, so bottom of the deck first we have Five of Swords. Five of Swords can, can represent a feeling of being defeated. Um, swords represent our thinking, uh, our, lo you know, our logic, um, our thoughts. 
internal struggle with, you know, internal thoughts, that type of thing. Uh, fives are generally on the more chaotic side of things in the tarot deck. So, you know, you can see here he's kind of he's got his hand on his head and kind of like, oh my God, you know, what is going on? Uh, you know, kind of a feeling of being overwhelmed. Uh, so that was on the bottom of the deck. The clarifier for the Queen of Pentacles is the Nine of Pentacles, which again, another Pentacle card, so that's, you know, good. So it seems like because I've pulled another Pentacle card to clarify the Queen here, uh, Nine of Pentacles, this is energy which would come before the Queen. Um, this talks about stability. You know, uh, being independent, being secure uh, with your surroundings, you know, your living situation, that type of thing. Just an, a general feeling of security is, is what I normally feel with the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Um, so it looks like, you know, you've, you've been, you've reached a point of being uh, more stable and secure financially or you've just been putting some time and effort into something uh, lately that's starting to pay off. Let me get another one on the Ten of Cups. Spirit, why is the Ten of Cups here, please? Please clarify. Thank you. Okay, Five of Wands to clarify. So again, Five, that's a some conflict, uh, five of wands, usually about conflict with other people. So it could be perhaps that you've got some conflict going on right now, uh, within a family dynamic. So, you know, this could be brothers, sisters, parents, you know, whoever, um, significant other. We will get more clarifiers on this. Um, you know, wands, that's a, that's a fire energy, and that is, can be some, you know, it can represent competition or kind of like a tug of war with somebody over, you know, certain things. Um, like I said, conflict with other people going on. Maybe some arguments, that type of thing. Bottom of the deck this time. Nine of Swords in reverse. Uh, again, swords are about the, our thinking process, how we're processing our thoughts, uh, communications. Nine of Swords typically in the upright is about, you know, sleepless nights. It's about, you know, overwhelming thoughts to the point of you cannot sleep at night. Um, but it also shows, even though this may be the case you know, there's still hope, which is represented here. These swords in this deck, you know, the Light Seers, are represented by um, the crows. So here we have eight crows, which are black, which would be, you know, our, our thoughts, our overwhelming thoughts. But then there's one here that's like a translucent white, which is saying that even though you might be going through something, there is better things on the horizon. There's always hope. Uh, this came out in the re reverse, though. So, this could be saying that you're starting to come out of this type of energy right now uh, with something. We will get more uh, on that, hopefully, as we go along. And let me get another one on the Page of Cups here. Please clarify Page of Cups. Why is Page of Cups here, please? What else do you have to tell me about the Page of Cups? Thank you. Okay, so Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, this is uh, a fire sign. This is uh, faster moving energy. Wands are usually passionate it's, it's a passionate energy it can be uh it can be you you know really passionate about something 
the queen, she, she's, um, this could be representative of a fire sign, maybe an Aries, uh, you know, a Leo, fire type of energy. Somebody who's very passionate about, you know, what they're doing, somebody passionate with life. This could represent your own energy. It could also be tied in with this Page of Cups. So this is in your near future. Uh, this is something that will be coming in for you. I'm going to get more clarifiers though with a different deck. Bottom of the deck, this time Four Swords. And I'm realizing that every card it seems like I've pulled from the bottom of the deck has been a sword card. Um, where the cups here are emotions, uh, wands is, you know, passion, creativeness, that type of thing. Swords, again, are about our thinking process, our thoughts, how we process things. Four of Swords, as you can see, she's kind of curled up in the fetal position in a nest. So this is kind of taking a time out before, before you get to that five stage where you are feeling defeated. It's knowing when to, to rest. It's knowing when to kind of step back and like, hey, you know, I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed here. I'm just going to take a step back so I can process everything uh, and think more clearly. So now I'm going to grab, actually I take that back. I'm going to grab three more here before I get the other deck. Spirit, why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Why is the Nine of Pentacles here, please? Would you please clarify the Nine of Pentacles? Is this nine of pentacles here? Thank you. Four of Cups. Four of Cups again. Cups are emotions. Uh, this four here, similar to the Four of Swords I just um, explained, it's it's that feeling of you're starting to feel overwhelmed. You're starting to, you know, your feelings are changing. Um, you, you notice the change, or maybe you don't. But this Four of Cups, it's, it's, it's emotional. It is maybe feeling indifferent to something on an emotional level. Uh, maybe somebody is you know, offering you something and you're not noticing or you just don't care. Um, so this could be that you've got something going on with your finances that is caught, it's taken a turn and it's starting to bother you emotionally where you know, you're feeling more stable and secure. Maybe you're bored with your career, your job. Um, or it could just be that an outside force changed this energy of being grounded and stable where you were putting in this effort and time into something and now you just don't feel like doing that anymore. This card to me, the Four of Cups, is always like, um, it's almost like boredom, but it's kind of just like, eh, you know, I, I just, I don't feel like doing it. Um, you know, you can, you know, the look on her face here kind of says it all. Uh, I'll get more clarifiers with, with my Tarot of the Abyss. Bottom of the deck this time. Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay. Again, a card of emotions, healing. The blue is signifies healing. Queen of Cups, where the Queen of Pentacles is kind of the equivalent of a Mother Earth energy. Queen of Cups is 
the empath, the social, um, maybe socially introverted, uh, maybe introverted in general. She's centered in her emotions, though. She uh, represents, you know, being psychic, listening to her intuition, listening to her gut feelings, really paying attention to what she feels uh, on the inside and not, ex you know, as opposed to relying on external forces. However, this was in reverse. So, it could be that, oh, this was on the bottom. Um, it could be that you're not paying enough attention to any gut feelings that you might be getting. Uh, maybe any, you know, signs, some synchronicity, a chain of events. Um, could even be, you know, something, the universe trying to get your attention. With the song, something you might run across on TV, maybe something even somebody says to you. Uh, where you think, my gosh, you know, I was just thinking about that the other day. Or, you know, whatever the case is. Uh, it might be you need to pay more attention in that respect. Let me get one here on the Five of Wands. Spirit, why is the Five of Wands here, please? Can you please clarify the Five of Wands? Why is the Five of Wands here, please? Thank you. Eight of Swords, okay. Eight of Swords, again, this is thinking process. Eight of Swords is confusion. Eight of Swords, to me, is always... It's like a misperception. Um, you might be misperceiving something. You might be um, perceiving a situation in an untruthful way. Um, you can see this is, she's got a blindfold on and she's got string wrapped all around her, but this is self-imposed. It's like a self-imposed prison, self-imposed overthinking. Um, you know, she's looking here in the mirror and seeing this so she's seeing herself, you know, this is what she, she looks like. This is what she feels like. So this is realizing that at any time you can take this blindfold off and you can, you know, untie all this string wrapped around you, meaning you can get rid of all these thoughts that are kind of overtaking you, um, because you're in control of that. So it might be that it feels like there's a there's something a, a struggle that you're currently going through with a family, a family member, spouse, partner. It's, it's represented by this five of wands here. This is conflict. It could be more than one person. It could be the entire family uh, arguing over something. And it's causing you all of these overwhelming thoughts where it's becoming more difficult to handle. Uh, and it seems like it might have started back here with this four of cups energy. Uh, because these pentacles here can also represent that family unit, um, that stability. Something has been shaken up. Something is not stable now where it was before. Or you don't feel like it is. Bottom of the deck on that, nine of pentacles, or knight of pentacles, which uh, another pentacle card, he can represent somebody that you know, um, this is, you know, this is that stability. He's trustworthy. He's dependable. He's, he's 
loyal, he's grounded, uh, he's up here near this Queen of Pentacles, uh, he can represent a male figure in your life. Grab another one here uh, by the Queen of Wands. Spirit, please clarify the Queen of Wands. And tell me why the Queen of Wands is here, please. Thank you. Six of Wands. So Six of Wands is usually uh, a card of victory, a uh, card of recognition. People are recognizing you for something you've accomplished. Um, so you have a wand card clarifying a wand card, which is clarifying the Page of Cups. Now, it could be that this person comes into your life, new person, and helps you, you know, move through the situation to where you feel unburdened now. You know, you're getting rid of these overwhelming thoughts. It could just be that you're starting on your own to move away from all of the overthinking and kind of moving into that feeling your emotions so that you're not so out of balance one way or the other, kind of balancing your emotions with your thoughts, which is going to move you in this direction of, you know, passion, a new, a new passion, a new way of thinking uh, to where in the end, you know, this card of victory here, it doesn't necessarily have to be acknowledgement from other people saying like, hey, you did a great job. It can. This can be yourself acknowledging like, hey, you know, I, I've, I've dealt with this. I've healed it. And now, you know, I'm in a better place for it. Uh, and on the bottom of the deck that time, nine of cups. So this is usually, you know, it's, it's emotional fulfillment. Um, it's feeling content and happy with, with what you have, uh, not wishing for anything else, you know, being happy with your situation, your life, um, everything that's going on in your life. So, you know, it, it I really feel that this has to do with a family situation where in the beginning the family was stable or, or you felt stable and secure and something changed um, where, you know, recently you, you it's like you started to feel things were changing. Emotionally, you could feel things were changing. Things weren't feeling the same. Uh, people weren't acting the same kind of thing. You just kind of know, like you feel it in your gut. And then it just got worse to where all the conflicts started, which is just causing these, you know, the overwhelming thoughts, you know, feeling like your thoughts are consuming you. Uh, but in the future, it does look like that will change if you start thinking on a more, more about how you feel and less about what's in your head or what you think is true. Um, I always trust how I feel over what I think. Uh, and the two, you know, everything, mind, body, spirit goes hand in hand. However, my feelings, you know, any gut feelings, uh, any knowing, uh, where you just know that always overrides thoughts for me because thoughts are not always they're not always telling you the truth um, you can think you know the truth and not know the truth uh, a lot of times you know we we think on experiences we've had in the past or what somebody has told us where if it's information coming from spirit and you feel it in your gut 
you really feel it. Uh, I think that way overrides any kind of thoughts that, uh, you know, that we might have. So I think once, once you kind of sit with this, uh, I think this, this family situation is going to change. If it doesn't change externally, you can change just how you're reacting to it on your own so that you, you know, you can move through it and, and heal. So I'm going to end that here, Cancer. Uh, I am going to go over to the extended reading if you want to uh, join me for that. I'm going to take a, a deeper look actually with my other deck and see if we can get some more clarity uh, and then some advice from Spirit on, on how to proceed. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.